Hi there! This video is just about how to download and install the ODK Collect app on your phone through which you can actually access the impact questionnaire on your mobile device, your Android mobile device. So I'll just show you how to download and install the um, app and then I'll show you how to set up the initial options that you'll need to um, install, I guess, uh, and get your app working so that we can kind of tell that the data is coming from your phone. And uh, it's quite simple, so let's get started. So you can see on the screen, this is my uh, mobile device. So you just need to click on the Play Store and you want to search for ODK Collect. And once it comes up, then you just want to click install or tap on install. So it's going to download that app. And once it has installed, then you can just tap on open. You might see a pop-up box say allow ODK Collect to access photos, media and files on your device. This is just so you can take photos or audio recordings in a questionnaire and it will attach those to your questionnaire. So you might want to uh, just tap allow. And it will open up the main screen of this app. So what you want to do is there are three little dots in the upper right hand corner. So tap on those dots and you want to go to general settings. Once you're in your general settings, then tap on server. And where it says URL, just tap on the URL. Okay, so they've just put a default URL in there. And what we want to do is just delete uh, the main part of that URL and put kc.cobo toolbox dot org and then tap OK. OK, so you've got your URL in there. And then what you want to do is just enter the username and password that you've been sent. So I will enter in the username and tap OK. And I will enter in the password and tap OK. All right, so then you just want to tap the back button on your phone to take you back to the general settings screen. And the next thing you want to do is tap on form management. And what you can do is where it says periodic form updates check never, just tap on that at the top. And you can say every uh, hour. <clears throat> and then where it says automatic download of updated versions of forms, you can just tap that on. If you scroll down to auto send, tap on that and just tap on Wi-Fi only which means when your Android connects to Wi-Fi, it will just automatically send any forms that you have already filled out, but it won't send them um, over, say, a data connection, which might charge you um, at whatever rate your phone or your, your phone data um, charges. So uh, do that. And then where it says delete after send, just tap that. So that will delete the finalized forms and all media from your phone after you send it to the server. For high res video, you probably want to take that off. 
Um, so we don't want um, really high resolution video recordings being sent um, to the server. We'll just keep those uh, low res. And then for image size, you can either leave it as the original size from your camera, or you can choose something like medium just um, to make sure we control how much um, data you're using uh, or submitting to the server. Okay, and then that should be everything that you need to change there. So just tap the back button and then go to user and device identity. And where it says form metadata, just tap on that there. And it will ask you another pop-up question, allow ODK Collect to make and manage phone calls. So just say allow. Now uh, at the top, you have some user defined metadata. So tap on username and you can just put say your name. So I'll just put my name as my username, uh, my phone number. So I will just put my phone number in there. And you can see I've included my country code um, and then tap OK and then tap on email address and enter your email address, whichever email address we should um, contact you at if we have any questions about your data. So I will put my email address there and then tap OK. So now we have the username, phone number, and email address for your specific data filled out. Uh, the device defined data is just there automatically, but um, you just need to define that user, user defined metadata. And then you want to tap the back button on your phone once again. And once more, and it should take us back to general settings. Great, so that is how you should be setting up your general settings. So you can tap your back button once more.